Hi, I'm Barbara Balfour and you're watching Daytime Ottawa. Valerie Lelou likes her food naked. At least that's what it says on her reusable tote bag, which features the logo of her Zero Waste Lifestyle store, which just opened up in Hintonburg a couple days ago. Valerie, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Tell us a little bit about New Grocery. That's your new mm -hmm. store that just opened up a couple days ago. Yeah. Um, and there's an interesting play of words in the name that you chose for your store. Yes, uh, so we, we chose the word new. It's written N-U. Um, we chose it because it sounds like new in English, and uh, it is a new way of doing grocery shopping. So we thought it was quite fitting. It also means naked in French, so we thought there was a, a nice pun here, uh, because we're offering naked food. So food that is unpackaged, or when it is packaged, it is packaged in uh, packaging that you can return, that you can reuse, and so we create absolutely zero waste. And that's the heart of the zero waste lifestyle, which is basically packaging free, but mm -hmm. there's also five specific R's to follow. Yes, uh, so um, I would say the packaging free side is one aspect of the zero waste lifestyle. Uh, I would say as a whole, it is a lifestyle of voluntary simplicity where you try to ask yourself the question, well, um, do I really need all these things? And if I need them, can I um, buy them or can I, uh, yes, can I, can I satisfy this need uh, without creating mountains of waste? So um, uh, there are different aspects of this. So the five R's you mentioned, refuse, so refuse the things that you don't need, uh, reduce, so when you do need something, buy less of it. I would think clothes, for example, is a good yes. example, right? I'm um, really bad with that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I need you, but uh, I'm getting there. <laughs> uh, reduce, um, reuse, so um, try to go with reusable alternatives instead of single use. Uh, for example, packaging would be single use plastic, switch it with a reusable jar. Um, and then recycle, uh, once you've exhausted all the other ones, and rot would be for the composting. What kinds of things can we find at your store? Um, pretty much everything with the exception of meat and fish. So if you think about all your daily needs, uh, so if you need milk, if you need uh, nuts, if you need cereals, if you need uh, cheese, if you, you know, think about everything produce, uh, cleaning products, beauty products, so the whole range, but no meat, no fish. And you have kombucha on tap, I yes, heard. Yes, yes. Yeah, and so uh, <laughs> freshly made hummus. Yep. Nothing goes to waste. You mentioned earlier that produce that is on the verge of spoiling mm -hmm. is then turned into a dish for the next day. Exactly, that's the plan. So every time we have produce that we cannot sell anymore, we don't throw it away, we process it. So we have a chef who comes, uh, collects the food, cooks it the next day, and makes fresh dishes from scratch um, so that we never throw away food. So do you have to be really organized to go grocery shopping when you're following a zero waste lifestyle? Uh, it certainly helps. Um, it certainly helps to plan a little bit ahead. If you're already someone who goes to your store with a shopping list, it's not, it's not much different, except uh, you replace the shopping list by your containers. So you'll okay. say, oh, I need honey. Well, that's like one container. I need maple syrup. Oh, that's a bottle. And uh, your containers become your shopping list. If you're someone who uh, completely improvises, um, it's probably a bit more challenging to follow this uh, lifestyle, uh, which is why uh, we thought about that and, and said, well, how can we uh, entice people to come to the store even if they're not fully prepared, which may happen even to a zero waster, yes. <laughs> actually. Um, so for that, we offer uh, jars that people can borrow. Well, this is one that they can buy, but mm -hmm. we have jars that they can borrow. Um, they uh, borrow them for a $1 deposit. They get the deposit back when they come when they bring back the jar. Uh, or we have paper bags for dry foods. So, so you don't really options. need anything to get started or you can just no, show up. No, and I would say probably that's what people are, well, although I have to say I was really uh, surprised that so many people showed up with jars already this week. I didn't expect that. I thought everyone would come just to check it out and uh, some people were very well prepared already. So that's It uh, sounds like cool. Ottawa is really ready for this. It's not just I a fringe so. movement. Yes, I think so. Why is it important? Uh, it is important because we create mountains of waste and I think uh, we can all relate to that. Waste is a very tangible nuisance. You know, you go to the grocery store, you come back, you have almost as much packaging waste as products that you buy. Um, and uh, the statistics are really staggering, in particular uh, if you think about plastic waste. Yeah. Uh, we know that the equivalent of a truckload of waste leaks into the ocean every minute. So we've been talking for three, three four minutes. <laughs> uh, so it's already four truckloads of waste that are le leaking, leaching into the ocean. That's amazing. You really yeah. put it into perspective there. Yeah. Absolutely. So we need to do something about it. We need to change the way we consume, and that's one step in this direction. You brought some zero waste accessories to mm -hmm. show us today. What have you got here? Okay, so I started actually 
if, if, I, if you're not yet a zero waster, uh, there's still things that you can do uh, to reduce your waste. And it's a very simple thing. First thing, the grocery tote, right? Yes. Uh, so you avoid plastic bags. Uh, the water bottle, so you don't buy the plastic water bottles. Uh, this is a stainless steel water bottle, very light. Um, the coffee mug, you know, so you don't use those uh, single-use coffee cups. So that's something that you, everyone can do, mm -hmm. right? Um, baby steps. Baby steps, yeah. exactly, yeah. exactly. Well, you can start with this. Um, and then uh, for grocery shopping, I bought a little bit the typical kit of a zero waster, so the jar for yes. wet products. You would put probably cheese in it, the hummus that we mentioned, um, nut butters, uh, that's where you would, would put them. Uh, the produce bag, so um, most of the time you don't really need a bag for produce, you know, if you just buy a, well, bananas, you don't need a bag, if you buy, I don't know, an onion, you don't need a bag, but if you buy Brussels sprouts, this, this, is, quite, exactly, this is quite handy. Um, and then the bulk bag, so that's the bag where you will put, so it's uh, organic cotton, uh, you would put um, all the dry goods, the nuts, the beans, the rice, the cereals, etc. Now these are some of the items along with compostable toothbrushes and mm -hmm. sponges that we can find both in your store yep. and also online. Mm -hmm. What's your website for people who want to check it out yep. or order something? So it's New Grocery, so newgrocery.com. Newgrocery.com, mm -hmm. and we can also find you on other media channels. Yes, please <laughs> <laughs> follow us on Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram. We're very active, although in the last uh, three days I was so busy You've with the story. I, I yeah. didn't post much, but. Thank you yes. so much for joining us today. It's very inspirational. Thanks for having Love me. Love the movement. Mm -hmm. Don't go away. When we come back, we'll be talking to Jennifer Madigan. She's a mommy blogger who's going to teach us how we can travel with our children, small children, and do it painlessly. We'll be right back.